Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never ventured to my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for rejoining me for another weekly reading. Okay, I do have one announcement. I am offering 25% off on all my services from now until May 31st to celebrate Mother's Day and all the mothers out there and to celebrate my son's birthday. You can go to www.capellawellness.com or click on the link in the description box below. Again, I'm offering 25% off for all my services. So if you would like a personal reading, head on over to my website and go ahead and use the code MAY25. May 252, not 252, I'm sorry, May 25 as your discount code when you check out, okay? With that being said, let's get into the reading. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to get right into it. We are first going to start off with what your overall energies will be for this week, May 2nd to May 9th. Again, if you haven't heard this before, time is fluid. So even if you watch this and it is not the time frame in which I indicated, it's okay. It only means that now is the time for you to receive these messages, okay? Oh, that got a little weird there. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, what are the overall energies for Gemini for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What are the overall en energies, energizes, what? Okay, what are the overall <laughs> energies? It's not even Mercury retrograde, is it? But it's coming. Anyway, uh, what are the overall energies for Gemini for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I hope you guys are doing well and your week is off to a good start. If not, don't worry. This too shall pass. But we're going to see what we have. If Spirit wants us to, get, to get anything. Spirit, what are the overall energies for Gemini? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance. There. Okay, hold up. No wonder there is a lot. They're like, no, there's four cards. We want you to take all of them because there's a lot going on for Gemini this week, it appears. Okay, well, let's see what they are. We have the King of Michael. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Staying in your integrity is a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Of course, it could be any one of these things, but I read intuitively, so I'll tell you guys what I'm picking up. We have the Ace of Ariel, the Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day, guys. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. Wait till you see the bottom of the deck. Page of Gabriel, Page of Wands. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Holy. Okay. Ace of Cups, Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Are you ready for the bottom of the deck, Gemini? The third Ace, Ace of Gabriel, which is the Ace of Wands, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So yeah, there's a reason why it took a while for these cards to get out. Hopefully you guys didn't click off, but there's a reason why that happened because they were trying. <laughs> I said a lot's going on. The fact that there, there's an ace at the bottom of the deck and you have two aces here already, Gemini, this is quite significant. Let's see, I read them in this order. Do they want me to go through the pictures? Okay, they want me to go through it one by one. I some, If you haven't seen my readings before, sometimes I do this, but they tell me. I do whatever they tell me. Anyway, let's start off because now my Gemini brain is kicking in. I'm talking too much. King of Michael, King of Swords is here. Your overall energy. You guys are standing in your mastery. I'm also getting for some of you, there's like some sort of contract that you may be receiving or there's some project that you've been doing that revolves around communication. You could actually be doing what I'm doing where you're reading for people that is communication, that is social media, that type of thing. 
Um, you're communicating truths to people or you're writing something that is uh, helping people find their integrity, their path, something along those lines. Could be self-help book I just got from Spirit, something like that. Whether you're writing a book, you are doing communications through YouTube or other social media platforms, something to that effect. Either way, whatever it is that you guys are doing, um, you are mastering it. You are at the top of your game. And I'm getting from spirit, like your, your intelligence has been exponentially heightened. That's the words that they gave me, guys. It's crazy. So this, you have achieved mastery of communication of integrity, of um, finding your head heart balance here too. Apparently for you guys, you didn't, a lot, you didn't allow a lot of your emotions to get the best of you to get to where you are now, which is why we have all these aces appearing here. Um, yeah, you guys have completed something quite phenomenal. I'm also getting that you cut away a lot of the drama in your life or anything, you know, that wasn't serving you. And I mean, look at you here. You're the king. You're the king of the castle. And then I see the doves up there. I never really noticed those before. But yeah, there's been, there's peace coming here. Oh, what I'm also getting is that uh, this also represents justice. Justice is going to be served, I'm being told as well. And peace is going to be brought to you for whatever situation you may have been in where it's a resolution of conflict that needed to happen. I'm getting from spirit. It's happening now with this king card. Anyway, um, they just want you to, to stand in your truth and to also speak your mind with confidence, to be true to yourself and true to your spiritual path, to your path of truth. Okay, um, they wanted me to look at the last sentence here, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Either someone is coming in your life to give you this type of communication and they are coming in as this king of swords energy. Now, if you were dealing with somebody, you could be dealing with an air sign here too, I'm getting. If you were another air sign, if you were um, involved with somebody who wasn't being honest with you, who was being like page of swords energy type of thing, um, they're coming in as the king now and they're going to tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth I'm getting, okay? Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day, Gemini. You are being given a gift from the universe this week. Of course, it may not be this week. Energies, you know, it could take a while for the energies to really kick in, but I'm getting from spirit. This is coming in for you guys. It's a new beginning. It's solid. It's stable. It's bringing in money I'm getting. Um, it's bringing in a lot of wealth of things. There is a completely new opportunity for you. This is a fresh start in your life. I'm getting this is a major change. Now, you could be, if you had started your own business, like I was saying, or you did your YouTube channel, you are writing your book, you're going to get an offer, a contract for something you are going to be offered something for the hard work that you've done, the mastery that you have completed. Um, I'm getting a really heightened sense of excitement here and just overall, I'm getting, you're not gonna believe all of what is coming to you, Gemini, okay? And you may be um, completely bewildered by what is going to be happening in your life but just be receptive of it. I'm getting from spirit. Some of you may be wondering if it's too good to be true or if you really should deserve it. It's like spirit's telling me some of you Gemini's are going to get this little voice telling you there's no way I deserve all of this, but spirit's saying that you really do. You really do Gemini because a lot of the work that you've done, you're being rewarded for it basically. So this is really big. This is really big. And it's for the long term. This is stable. This is a fresh start for you guys. You guys are, are starting over, especially if like, if this, if it's with this communication that's coming in from this King of Swords energy from that type of person, 
they could be giving you some sort of an offer. I just saw on my mind an engagement ring that may be for some of you. Um, they could be giving you a whole bunch of money. I just got from Spirit. They be uh, might be wanting to pay off all of your debt. Something to those. Wow, this it's a lot, guys. Like I'm feeling really heated right now because of all the excitement. Page of Wands. See excitement as I say this. You're ready for any challenge. Now, whatever is, is coming in, that's why you have three aces in your vicinity right now. We haven't even gone to the other stuff yet. Be optimistic, okay? That's what I was saying earlier. You may be um, wondering how all this stuff happened to you all at once. But you're ready for what's coming, Gemini. With all these offers, these aces that are being presented to you, these gifts from the universe, it might be it might be so overwhelming that you're wondering how you're going to do all this, especially if you get a contract. If somebody asks you for your handed marriage, if somebody, you know, gives you all this amazing stuff, and there may be things that you might have to do, whether you may have to move for this job when they give you a contract, if someone wants you to move in with them, if someone... Uh, whatever the aces are bringing in for you, either way, there might be a little bit of hesitation there because there might be something that you have to give, but take that risk. This page does take risks and he goes into things with this excitement, this ambition. He's ready. He's ready to go. And they're telling you to just follow your passion. It's also following your heart. For whatever this is, this is also good news too. And it can be expected. This may be, like I was telling earlier, or saying earlier, unexpected turn of events for you guys with these aces coming in for you, okay? But stay in this energy and just get really excited about it. What I'm getting from Spirit is, while you're watching this, start getting excited about it now if it hasn't happened for you yet because that's really going to raise your vibration and the universe is gonna see, oh, so-and-so, they're vibrating even higher, then we're really kind of push, going to push these manifestations and these gifts from the universe in a little quicker. Um, and that way, when you're in that high vibration, you know, whatever challenges that may come from all these offers being made to you, it won't really throw you off and you'll still be in this, like, you'll have that face. Be like, okay, okay, well, I have to move if I want to get this, if I'm given this contract and I have to move to a completely different state, completely different country even, but there's nothing that I can't do because you are in that King of Swords energy. You've mastered so many things in, in your life that you can do anything that the universe throws at you. You can overcome anything that the universe throws at you. And then here's the Ace of Cups, okay? Here's Archangel Raphael coming in. For some of you, this is also an offer of love, a new, fulfilling, unconditionally loving relationship. This is the holy grail, you guys. The universe is not only giving you the Ace of Pentacles, the which is the highest manifestation card, this is also the ultimate fulfillment card. Emotions pouring out. Like some of you may be even crying when you realize oh my God, I can't believe all this is happening, but they're tears of joy, okay? They're not tears of sadness. These are tears of joy, okay? Yeah, this could very well be um, a new beginning in love, but true love, your soulmate, your twin flame, your true partner, your life partner that is coming in with this ace and whatever this other stuff is coming in, it's really going to bring you that emotional fulfillment, the holy grail, you guys, okay? And then there's two dolphins here. They're also telling me communication. Again, coming in also with the King of Swords energy. So whatever this stuff is coming in, guys, it's going to be a fresh start. It's going to really, really make you feel blissful. This is pure bliss right here. I keep getting from spirit. You guys are not going to freaking believe what we are bringing to you. <laughs> it's like... These waves crashing in. You're like, holy cow, I was not expecting this type of thing. But um, 
yeah, this is, this is phenomenal, you guys. So whether this is love for you guys, that's coming in and it's of the highest form. It's a divinely guided, it's, it's, um, spiritual, it's true love here. If it's not love, it's a job. Like I said, you writing that book, getting that, um, publisher, getting that contract, whatever it is, new job, um, new career completely. This is your holy grail guys the ultimate fulfillment you're going to be so freaking happy with this okay and again you know ace of wands yeah it's a new opportunity again new career new passion new uh, full of life this is going to just really really change you and i keep looking at the fields back there again some of you may be moving to as part of this three ace stuff <laughs> i can't even find the word for it um yeah this is a huge opportunity for you guys so many things are coming in and they're giving you the chance to like really really live the life that you have always dreamed of okay let's put ace of ariel in the front here okay let's see what you need to focus on this is going to be interesting my guess would be, or at least, you know, what Spirit's telling me right now is for you guys to just stay high vibe. Because apparently you guys are already so high vibe that you're calling all this ace, all these aces in. But the universe is really gifting you guys some serious stuff. I'm Gemini Sun, so I'm like, oh, is that why I've been feeling like really excited lately? So let's see if this pertains to me too. But this is really for you guys. This is not for me because I do my own readings every morning. Anyway, we're going to see what you need to focus on, Gemini. Nope, I didn't want to come out. What does Gemini want to need to focus on for this week with regards to their energies? These amazing energies, please and thank you. Now, this is interesting. Five of Michael, five of swords. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Bottom of the deck is eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Don't do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. Okay. Some of you, if you're reading no tarot, five of swords is not really a positive card, but you know what this is, what you need to focus on. It's this is winning at all costs, but in a good way, meaning you're standing up for yourself. Okay. That's what this is. So here we have Archangel Michael standing at the edge of this cliff here. He's by the ocean. I'm not sure what he's holding on to. It looks like a water hose, but that sounds kind of funny. Maybe it is a water hose. Anyway, regardless, with the Eight of Cups at the bottom, I'm getting right away, for some of you, this is relocation, and I was talking about having to move earlier. So some of you may be hesitant, right, with all this amazing stuff coming in, but it's going to require you to, to cut something out, to leave something behind when all of this comes in. And with the five of Michael, you may end up running into some conflicts with people with regards to all of this abundance, all these opportunities, all of this wonderful energy coming your way. So while they don't want you to focus on betrayal or dishonesty, that's not what this is. This could also be walking away from people who may be trying to, uh, oh, it's like a sense of defeat. I did say earlier that some of you may be in such bewilderment that you're not sure if you're really deserving of this. Like, so maybe I really don't deserve all of this stuff because of something with the past I'm getting that you felt some sort of defeat, something with regards to defeat. Oh, this could also be 
if this person, if this is a communication coming in and this person is giving you all of these aces I'm getting, they don't want you, they want you to walk away from feeling, having the feeling of betrayal, of deceit, of dishonesty, because apparently this person coming in, who's now coming in as the king, they're now standing in their integrity. So they want you to be mindful of this. They want you to walk away from the past of what you felt before with this individual, especially this is pertaining to an individual, an individual who's bringing you all these aces. That could very well be it. Maybe somebody realized that they did you so wrong that they're really coming correct and doing what is right, but not only are they doing what is right, they're, they went above and beyond to give you the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, okay? That's what I'm getting very strongly from Spirit. So they don't want you to be in this Five of Michael energy, this Five of Swords energy. And yes, you, you do want to speak your truth and, and, and stand up for yourself. But what I'm really getting is because Eight of Cups is at the bottom, they want you to walk away from feeling that you are going back to this energy with this individual or with this situation, especially if it's a too good to be true moment. Maybe you were rejected from something before, you know, with a publishing company I'm getting and maybe they come back to you and say, oh, you know what? We had a change of heart and we want to give you this contract or whatever it is we want to publish your book type of thing something along those lines we're going to clarify this but um this is more focusing on moving away from feeling that type of energy okay we're now going to see what you need to avoid i just want to do it once what does gemini need to avoid for this week please and thank you Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, I'm also getting with that Five of Swords. They're just telling me this now. You may be having conflicts with family or friends or maybe even some people at work, but I'm getting more family where, let's say, all this opportunity comes in. You get this wealth of abundance and all these miracles happen for you and you have to relocate i keep getting relocation eight of cups is also relocation so maybe people are going to be telling you wait you have to move here no you can't do that you're going to take my grandkids away or you're going to take my nephews and nieces away that type of thing you're going to be far from the family some people may be in this energy where um they're trying to there's this conflict because this they don't like that you're getting all this stuff. That's what this energy is, and they don't want you to focus on that, okay? They want you to move away from it. What you need to avoid is the Ten of Michael and the Emperor. Hold on one second here. The Emperor, stability and efficiency, efficiency, taking charge of situation, ambitious plans. Ten of Swords. Situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you bottom of the deck is knight of gabriel knight of wands take the time i can't read today time to take action see i'm so excited great passion for a cause instinctively knowing what it is to do knowing just what to do all right guys this is what i'm getting from this this has to do with this conflict and i really do think this is conflict coming from people that you know mainly family now with the emperor here They don't want you to be rigid and stubborn. They don't want you to um, be in this energy where I'm getting, what do they want to say? My spirit, there's too much coming in. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. They don't want you to take start taking total control of the situation because of all this stuff that's coming in for you guys. Again, it may be so overwhelming and so surprising to you, especially with any challenges that are coming in. 
you might want to have this need to really start taking control of everything. Like, wait a minute, I need to do this. I need to do that. This has to be done. They don't want you. They want you to surrender to spirit. That's what I've been trying to get out. They want you to surrender to the universe and continue to be in the flow of things because the universe is giving you all of this stuff, but they don't want you to get so hung up on the fact that you're going to have to be doing other things too. I keep getting some other challenges like the page of wands energy. There's excitement there, but this is also other people with the five of swords energy trying to come at you and trying to prevent you from doing these things for taking these opportunities with all the energies of the aces, right? Oh, I'm getting from spirit. They're saying for some of you, don't be an asshole. <laughs> Again, I just, that's what they said. I'm not calling you guys that. Please don't say that. But this, my, I can see this because with it's the five of swords energy. There's some sort of chaos that might ensue from all this because people are going to be like, how in the hell did you get all of this stuff? All these miracles happen for you like what gives you know did you do something sneaky did you do something dishonest there it is they're thinking that you didn't call it in on your own and they don't want you to get all bent out of shape and then here's why the ten of Michael is here too this is like victim energy this is ruin this is also betrayal being stabbed in the back oh wow so yeah this is okay a couple of things this could also be the person that's coming in who's going to give you the truth tell you everything and offer you all these things you might be thinking that you are still being betrayed by them because of how they were in the past. Because the, the shadow side of the emperor is, you know, he can be closed off. He can be very rigid, rigid and stubborn. He can be an asshole. This is Aries energy, impulsive. Um, it's my way or the highway type of thing. Some of you may be thinking that this individual is still doing this to you. And there's there's like, he's doing something sneaky behind you. Like he's got, he's got to stab you in the back again type of thing. And Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, if this is a person who is coming in and out of your life, right? High sexual energy, maybe just coming to you for sex or something. That's for some of you. You know, being this Casanova type of guy or girl even. It's energies, right? Maybe you're thinking that this person is still that way. Spirit is telling me if this resonates with you, this is not. You're coming in as the king of swords now they are completely different and what you are receiving from this individual is no joke is what spirit is telling me okay this is also could also be you know family coming at you with this conflict this chaos these ar arguments these challenges you might be completely overwhelmed i was saying it's too much to bear. The stress, right? Because maybe you are now in the emperor stage with all this stuff coming in. You're going to rule your empire now. And it may be too much. It may be too much for you. Don't let that happen. Okay? Stand your ground, make sure you meditate and you balance yourself out with everything that's coming in. Don't let this kill you. <laughs> I'm getting, don't let this get to you so much where you feel like you're in this 10 of swords energy. Like you feel drained and you're dead. It's like, I can't, but you can. See, there's a lot of energies coming through here. It depends on your situation because this is general. I'm just seeing everything that uh, spirit is telling me. So without a personal reading, I can't necessarily really explain the nitty gritty as to what it is pertaining to your situation. So it could be a lot of stuff with what you need to avoid. Okay, Gemini, but 
hopefully something sticks with you. Again, if you feel it in your gut, that's what's true for you. Okay, so this is a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but Spirit's like, nope, you got to continue on because there's a lot of stuff going on in Gemini's life for this week. We're going to clarify the Five of Swords, okay, guys? At least we're going to get some more insight as to why the Five of Michael is here. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, plain and serious, please reveal to us for our highest good. Why the Five of Michael is here. Can you please give us clarity as to why the Five of Swords is in the focus position? Please and thank you. Okay, let's see what we got here. Page of Pentacles with High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so for quite a few of you, I am getting, this is pertaining to what I was saying earlier about a person who is coming to you to speak their truth after you feeling betrayed and backstabbed, okay? Um, somebody, yes, who had Aries energy, maybe you were dealing with an Aries. But what this is, is that this person is coming in with an apology. Okay, for a lot of you, this has to do with somebody giving you an apology for how they acted before. That's why I was getting a lot of that. And there are secrets that are going to be revealed. On top of that, they're going to be telling you, oh, well, I have to tell you this. I've been hiding my feelings for you. I have been um, holding things back. I was silent for a reason. I should have told you all these things and I'm sorry. This is the page, but it's good news though, because I'm getting this is something good. And this is the smaller offer compared to the ace, but this is how it starts. It starts with the apology, especially if you're dealing with somebody who was being secretive, who wasn't talking, no communication. And now the communication comes in. That's why you're like, what the hell? You come out of nowhere. And now you want to give me all of these things? Wait a minute. Am I going to be betrayed again? It's like something is not going to come of this. But that's not what Spirit's telling me to tell you. This person is being honest this time around. They know when they come in that they can't do what they did before because you definitely will come in Queen of Swords and chop their heads off, okay? So they know that they have to do right by you. I'm getting very strongly that this person's going to be revealing some serious secrets and stuff and what Spirit's telling me to tell you guys is to be mindful of that, to listen. They want you to also be in the priestess energy and be like, well, I know my worth, I know where I stand, but I'm going to listen to you. She doesn't say anything, right? What they're also telling me is that when this person speaks their truth to you, listen. There might be there may be some challenging things that are going to be said, but you have to hear them out because what I'm getting, this person has mastered themselves and they've completely changed. And I had said that before, okay? That's hilarious. I split the deck so I wouldn't take the whole deck. Look what came up. Ace of Cups again. That was Ace of Cups for here. They're telling you to walk away from feeling that you're being betrayed again because you need to head to your new life, your abundance, your Ace of Cups, your Ace of Pentacles, your Ace of Wands. And this all starts with this apology, okay? I mean, that for a lot of you. And this is also like maybe with regards to, I did say with some publisher who maybe rejected you before, oh, I'm so sorry. She's got the book of knowledge, right? Again, there's book, there's something with knowledge here. Uh, we're sorry, you know, can we're gonna make this offer to you again. And they're coming in a little small because it's like tail between their legs because they rejected you before. That's for some of you. That. 
I wasn't expecting that, but that's what I got from this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is clarify the energies for what you need to avoid. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please clarify why the Emperor and the Ten of Swords is in the avoid position. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Two cards. Again. Two, two, two. <laughs> the Magician and the Seven of Wands. You know what's at the bottom of the deck? Two of Pentacles. All right. Okay. I've got it really fast here. This, for a lot of you, this has to do with this person. This person who's coming in to tell you the truth. They want you to avoid thinking that you're being manipulated again, that they're being a trickster. That is the shadow side of the magician. And they don't want you to be defensive or that this person is being defensive again. Okay. That this person is trying to manipulate you again and block you again. With the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this person apparently was wishy-washy before, right? Couldn't make a decision. Not sure where to go. They were not in the ebb of flow of life. They had too many things going on in their lives. Um, they couldn't make decisions. Maybe they just kept dating around a lot. They couldn't, they didn't know what they wanted in a relationship. They had their finances all over the place. They were in the storm because look at the water back there. Their emotions were all over the place. Look at that ship. That ship's not sailing smoothly, is it? No. They had all this craziness going on in their lives and they couldn't balance themselves out. So that was what was going on before and you knew this. So you're like, the hell with this, I'm walking away, right? But now that this person's coming in, you have to hear them out. I keep hearing from spirit. They want me to tell you, you have to hear them out, Gemini, okay? Because this guy has changed a lot. And be, you will see with all of these offers being made to you, and it's apparently all from this one person, They, are, they have gone above and beyond to do the right thing. You can't let your ego get in the way. You can't let the past uh, affect you now. Leave it in the past. Spirit wants you to know. Trust your heart, your intuition. You will know if this person's coming in with this energy again and trying to bamboozle you. But what Spirit is really strongly suggesting to you guys right now is that this is not the case. Of course, you have free will, right? But what they're saying is don't let your ego get in the way. Let the past be the past. Walk away from the past. Because something amazing is coming in. And if you don't trust this person still, you're going to miss out on all the amazing stuff that the universe is trying to bring you, okay? This is a huge warning, and they're telling me, you have to tell them this is a warning because this, you're being tested because of the way this person was before. And you're gonna be like, holy shit, how did I get all this ace, this stuff, right? All these aces, there's no way. Somebody's trying to manipulate me again. And now they're like, oh, now you're coming in? And now you want to do all this? Spirit's like, we're testing you. Because if you're not trusting us with what's coming in and you're not trusting your heart, we are going to give this to somebody else. That is really what I'm getting right now. It's funny because my guides are like, they're standing there looking like this. This is hilarious. You got My guides are the best. I see all of my guides. Even Archangel Michael is here. He's he's looking just like this. We're being serious, guys. That we are giving all of this to you for a reason. You guys did your work and you did walk away from this person. You helped this person change. We are hoping that you listen to what we have to say in this reading. That's what they're telling me right now. This is crazy. Anyway, there you have it. <laughs> There's your warning, Gemini. <laughs> but again, like I said, it's um, 
free will, right? However, they are emphasizing that warning. They're standing there with their arms crossed like, you. this is not a joke, Gemini. It's not a joke. Spirit. So what we're going to do now is um, see what other guidance Spirit has for us right now, okay? What other guidance does Spirit has for, have for us right now? <laughs> oh, my God. That was fast. Ooh, four cards again. New career. I was talking about new career with the Ace of Wands, right? This is also Ace of Pentacles. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Yup. New big changes for you guys. Big happy changes. Get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. What I'm getting from this is, if you're already high vibe, I'm getting for a lot of you, they want you to stay in this um, vibration. Especially with everything that's going to happen, it's going to be a whirlwind of things. It's going to happen all at once. They want you to make sure that you continue getting some exercise. And this doesn't necessarily mean running the treadmill, running 10 miles, lifting weights. This means just taking walks, going out in nature, moving your body, doing yoga. You don't necessarily have to do, you'd be going to the gym all day, every day. They just want you to be stronger. This is also a mental strength because this may be so overwhelming where you might feel out of sorts and you might be worried about some things. They want you to be mentally sound and they want you to continue doing your spiritual practices and doing what you need to do to maintain your health, okay? Because with all these opportunities coming in, um, they want you to make sure that you are still at your best because this new career, this new job, um, love life, marriage, you may be even blending families with somebody I'm getting all of a sudden, stuff like that. They want you to make sure that you continue to do some sort of healthy uh, exercise for your body, not only to keep your body healthy, but to keep your mind and your spirit healthy as well, okay? Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. What I'm getting from this is it looks like you already asked for what you wanted. And because all of it, it's all coming in at once, you're maybe, you're probably going to start freaking out. So let the universe do the rest for you because you've manifested this. They want you to receive, okay? This is also, you may be asking for help with this individual let the universe and other people know what you need maybe you need them to clarify something when they come in with the truth maybe you have questions to ask maybe with everything that's going on with all of this wonderful stuff coming into your life you're gonna need help maybe if you are moving you need help with moving out of the house to your new location Something along those lines. But whatever else that comes in, this is, again, this is, you've asked, you're getting what you've asked for. So don't be so surprised because the universe did a lot of, worked a lot of miracles, they're telling me, to give you all of this stuff. And on top of that, you're still not trusting Ask the universe for help. Ask your guides. Ask your angels. Meditate on it. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Yeah, a lot of you are going to be doing this now. Some of you may be asked like, to uh, be part of a podcast or join some sort of company as far as doing this. Being a spiritual teacher goes. A lot of you, you are getting all of this abundance because you you are now fulfilling your calling as a spiritual teacher, as a spiritual healer, a spiritual advisor, whatever this is for you. 
this is why all this abundance, all these wonderful opportunities are coming in for you because you are now living your dharma, your purpose. Okay? So this is, and this is also for those of you who are already in this, you are leveling up. Either your YouTube channel is going to blow up or um, somebody maybe ha has been watching you and they're going to offer you some sort of contract to do something with regards to the work that you've been doing as a spiritual teacher, healer, whatever this is. It could be that too. I, there's so much stuff, guys. Like, because this is so general, like, I'm picking up so many things. But one thing that you guys will need to know is that everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Go with the flow. Just let the universe help you with all the stuff that comes in. Take a breather and just thank the universe for everything that they have given you. Okay? And just know that everything is going to be all right because they wouldn't put you in a place that you wouldn't be prepared for. That they don't want but the path that they don't want you to follow. They wouldn't put you there. This is all meant for you, Gemini. Okay? And if you're wondering about whether all this manifestation is coming in, they're also telling you that it's working out in a beautiful way because the universe is still finalizing things I'm getting. All right. Oh, not these cards yet. There's like, no, go get the other ones. Okay. What they want me to do now is see what spirit animal is supporting you guys this week. Okay. Let's see. What spirit animal is supporting Gemini this week? Spirit guides and angels, please. And thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What spirit animal is supporting Gemini this week? Please and thank you. You've got two spirit animals. No, three. Wow, Gemini. I'm telling you. <laughs> There's a lot for you guys. This is fantastic. White stag. Protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Yeah, see? That last line standing out to me. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. You guys, you have this magic wand that you've been using. You know how to use it. The white stag. For some of you, this white stag means something very significant. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of white stags around. This is the universe really coming in. Not only are they going to protect you with what's coming in in your life now, they want you to trust your intuition. Like I said earlier, you have that power within you to do anything that you really want to do. So with everything that's coming in, you are being protected by the white stag this week, Gemini. Continue to create your magic. Oh, let's get this. I get to that one last. Let's go to this one first, the line. Higher calling. This is like Leo energy. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past, you see, I had said that, and reclaim your majesty, king of swords energy. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. See? Releasing the past, stand in your integrity, your life force energy, okay? You guys have really healed your solar plexus chakra I'm getting. You are more confident and more courageous and more fearless than you've ever been. Nothing can stand in your way. You have a higher calling here. And especially if it deals with this individual's coming back to your life, there is a higher calling involved with this individual too. And I, I'm getting for some of you, you know deep down inside that this is the case. But they're highly emphasizing this part here, let go of the past. That's what I had said before. 
That's really the takeaway from this lion card. That and you have a higher calling as a spiritual teacher, as the advisor, whatever it is, you're supposed to be sharing your gifts, your magic with the world. Okay. So make sure you take these opportunities. You already have everything. It's like the magician. It's there. But this is that was pertaining to some other thing. But this is like the magician energy where you have everything. You have all the tools you need to to fulfill your higher calling okay and again apparently this is escalating for those of you who have already been following your higher calling again it's it's the sense of like glowing up type of thing okay now let's get back to the personal choice card okay this is what they want you to do they want you to close your eyes and imagine an animal. What animal do you see? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So what a spirit is telling me is you can pause this video and close your eyes and imagine an animal. Whatever you see first is more insight. Another um, spirit animal that is going to help you through this week. And they want you to look it up. If you don't know what that spirit animal symbolizes or stands for, they want you to research it. Okay. All right, Gemini. Lastly, spirit wants you to ask a question. Any question at all. Meditate on it while I'm shuffling. I will not speak while I'm shuffling. And we will see what answers the angels have for you. Okay. So start meditating on your question. There's your answer, Gemini. And I think I know what this has to do with. It's with this individual. That's why you gotta let go of the past. Making compromises. Maybe with all these offers that are coming in, you guys are gonna have to work on something and balance it out. Equal give and take. This is also, if this person's coming in, what I'm getting, again, this is your, your answer to the question, but Spirit wants me to talk more on this. This is the person coming in to compromise with you. This is true. This is real. This will bring balance to your connection, your situation. There will be a compromise here. And guess what it comes with? Here you go, guys. Abundance. Ace of Pentacles. Especially Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, all of them bring abundance, okay? This is no joke, so you got your answers. Trust in this, Gemini. You have some incredible things coming your way. So, oh my gosh, Spirit's like, don't mess this up. <laughs> my guys are some stirred. They don't F around, guys, so... This abundance is coming to you guys. You've asked for it. And here it is. It's just coming to you in ways that you didn't expect. That's what I just heard. So, Gemini, there you go. Okay. What a week. Please let me know in the comments section if you feel compelled to do so. What happened or what is going on with regards to everything we just covered. I would love to know. That'd be awesome. I'd share with you too. Um, because I am Gemini sun. So we will see what the universe is bringing us Gemini's right this week or in the next week or whenever they finalize the manifestation of this. Anyway, thank you so much, Gemini, for watching this video, for subscribing, for illuminating the thumbs up icon. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I wish you a wonderful week. I send so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starting out.